I had a pretty fun time with series 14 slash season 1. I feel this is mostly in part due to Shooter Gatwa and Millie Gibson's chemistry and giving us one of the most likeable and emotionally honest TARDIS teams in the 15th Doctor and Ruby. And unlike most people, I'm pretty much all on board for Doctor Who being much more experimental with its storytelling. Doctor Who is inherently a creative show and it's not like the stories are hugely complex. The concept of trapping the Doctor on a landmine or Ruby facing her greatest nightmare, that invites experimental storytelling but also allows for intimate introspection of our lead characters. So yeah, I really hope this more fantastical aspect of the era gets more focus and becomes more of a major plotline going forward. But I will admit, it could have been much stronger. And I feel this is down to the fact that as fresh as this era tries to be, especially with the return of Rusty Davies, I found that the callbacks to previous eras are getting a bit more tired. We have a lot of the traditional problems cropping up, some tonal issues, not being sure who the audience for the show is at this point. Russell is clearly overworking himself, writing basically over half the season. And for me, the most frustrating aspect is probably the pacing. I can understand and accept that Shooty Gat was temporary absence and the limited number of episodes couldn't have been helped. But what I don't understand is if you have so many characters, plot points and mystery boxes to keep up with, I don't understand why on earth the season was and allowed the opportunity to have longer episodes. I don't get the argument that they needed to cut scenes for time, given that it's basically a streaming show now, or they should have recognised they wouldn't have managed to get the whole of the one who waits in Ruby's mystery with her parents arc done in just eight episodes, and as such, probably could have spread more of the overarching plots across the next few seasons. There wasn't really much pressure to get it all done in once. I wasn't expecting to find out who the one who waits was until at least season four. I think both people making Doctor Who and some of the fandom are struggling to realise that some significant format changes need to be made in order for Doctor Who to keep up with the current media landscape. Episodes don't need to be 45 minutes anymore. Companions don't need to be from the present day. The mystery box doesn't need to be wrapped up quite so quickly because otherwise it just comes off as a bit anticlimactic and dull. But I still think this is a decent season, though I do recognise why people are underwhelmed, as it really needs to be a lot more focused, in my opinion. In summary, I think the nine episodes fall into one of three categories. You have the fun but generic Church and Ruby Road, Space Babies and Rogue, the experimental masterpieces Boom, 73 Yards and Dot and Bubble, and lastly Devil's Cord and the two finale episodes which are somewhere in the middle, trying to be creative but ultimately get held back by tradition.